My name is Oluwashio Ayodeji Oshowabi and I am from Nigeria. Over the past 10 days, I've had fun being at Cambridge, the Mola Institute. Um, we also went to the House of Parliament to engage the policymakers. That was really good. And we've just, you know, had time to share ideas and policy actions. So my favorite highlight was when every country had to bring three items to represent leadership to them. And, you know, what you would think like, oh, that's on leadership, but it actually means a lot to them. So it's just learning, you know, new cultures and, you know, what represent leadership to different people. I work as the executive director of Stand to End Rape Initiative. It's um, a youth-led organization that is advocating against gender inequality and supporting survivors of gender-based violence. My journey has been working with survivors of sexual violence. I have worked in communities educating them about sexual harassment, sexual violence. I've worked with men teaching them how their roles um, contribute to violence against women and how they can change that. And that has brought me to a point where um, I want to do more for women and girls in my country. My policy advocacy is centered on sexual harassment in universities and what I'm looking to do is to take this model and take it to other African countries and you know just share ideas, implement it in those countries and just achieve gender equality in the world. So what I look forward to the most is actually connecting with other leaders working in my field to learn the strategies they have used because my issue is very gender sensitive so I need to know what has worked in other countries and you know try to put that into my own country and I want to have a family, family of young people I can speak to, I can share with and I can connect with. So one key thing I've learned is about design thinking is actually creating solutions to problems as against just creating a product. So what exactly do the consumers want or what exactly will my policy be doing? So I learned how to you know, find out what exactly the people need. I've been able to learn about new strategies to engage stakeholders um, for the work that I'm passionate about and just basically working with communities to get the solutions to the problems. It's been amazing meeting people, learning about what best practices they have in their country and what I can try out in my country and also just getting to learn about their culture, about their people, about their problems and just finding synergy in the work that we do. That, that is very um, important and I've really enjoyed that. Hey guys, so we are out of Cambridge and we are at St. John College. We're having dinner is, and I have here my... This is Haytham from Tunisia. Yeah, my she president. <laughs> At the Elders event, I'll be pitching my question and I'm excited to share what I think ethical leadership should be and, you know, just really excited to be there. Ethical leadership is exemplified by traits such as people-driven, resilient and inclusive. A leader must stay relevant to the needs of the people and ensure their policies in place to protect their rights. When I get home, I'm looking forward to sitting down and then scrapping everything I wrote as my policy action because I've gained new ideas and new strategies and I'm going to rewrite that and begin to work with my stakeholders that I want to work with. It was good being here. Bye!